Hey, just going to show you my reprice it settings. This is what I do. So dashboard home. I have seven templates. I just started using this. So the one I use most cautiously is the one month price. So these items have been in the warehouse for more than a month. I don't like to automatically price my new inventory. I have a second one. This is stuff that's under $9.99. Old. Old is anything that's been in there for over six months. And then I have also an August old. The long-term storage fees are coming out in a couple days, so I'm trying to get this stuff priced competitively since there's a lot of crazy pricing going on. Whatever I have left, I figure I need to get rid of it. I also have a 120 to 90 day items, which I have repricing on a schedule. I have a test. This was the very first one I figured out and I did. But I'm going to show you my one month one. So I'm going to go up here to view edit template. So again, this is anything that's been in there for over 30 days. Um, I do FBA, so I only want my items compared to the FBA offers. I don't care about merchant. I'm not a merchant. I just do FBA, so I don't want to be pricing along their guidelines. So, in here, I have it um, from 30 days to a year old. The sales ring from one to 500,000. So, this isn't catching any of my books. Um, that I have that's over 500,000. So this is mainly for the lower rank books, CDs, mostly anything in my inventory other than books is under 500,000. And also I picked a price range from $9.99 to $39.99. Some items I'll price very high and I don't want this this messing with them under this setting. And I also picked all of the conditions. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to show you the repricing settings. Okay, so I have new old items. So I have this checked for new and used. I also I have this checked to exclude acceptable offers, but that doesn't make any sense because I have it with the acceptable on the other page. And exclude just launched. If they're just launched, um, they may not know what they're doing price-wise, so I don't really want to compete with them. Exclude offers with a seller rating below 98%. Uh, since this stuff is new, especially with 30 days, I don't want somebody who doesn't know what they're doing with a low rank um, choosing my pricing. So the minimum allowable price I want on this is eight eight ninety nine. I may increase this to $9.99 once the new fees start in March and then the maximum level price is $300. I think the most expensive item I have in my inventory is $175 but I want to keep you know everything covered just in case. Um, default price. So if there are zero or two few competing offers for a given item $49.99 I like to price my CDs at $49.99 if there's no FBA pricing, especially with the new ones, I usually have luck with that. Especially in fourth quarter, I haven't had much luck with that this year. Um, if the price goes down more than 5%, do not reprice. And I do, this one's very important, I reprice my items at the lowest price by the same condition or better. This is, this is important, especially with video games and software, whenever I price my video games and software. I base off of condition because a lot of acceptable and good condition video games may not be complete with the disc, the case, and the artwork. If there's like a manual or anything, it may not have that. So I want to make sure that I'm competing with variable ranges. Now books, CDs, I'm not as concerned about, but I don't know what their intelligent repricing is and I don't really want to find out. 
some of these are other settings. Um, with this stuff, I'm not going to undercut with Amazon. Um, in some of my other settings, I do. With that's on older stuff, I want to get rid of. I'm going to give it a chance at first. And, um, ooh, <laughs> I'm doing the penny undercutting. I don't really recommend this, but I am doing that. And, and then compare. This is another one. Compare your FBA items against only other FBA offers. So, and um, I have this just in case for whatever reason a merchant item I have to list, which I haven't done ever. And this is important. If you don't have this um, check marked, you won't get live action for your repricing. And Yep, these, these are all them. So whenever you're ready to reprice, you can hit reprice it now. And it will take you to another screen and it will reprice your items. You can also set schedules, which is really cool. Um, so these are the ones that I have. I'm really just trying to get rid of my old stuff right now. So these are my settings. Sometimes I'll go in and do it manually if I have time or think about it. Um, but that's what I do for Reprice It. Um, I will be making more videos. You can like and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, you know, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.